at seven, but you also should tweet out hashtag free HO3K, free house of 3000, and to help house get their Twitter account back. That being said, anything else will have to wait till after the set, my friend, because we are getting right into Lucario versus Rob here on PS2, the home field advantage for Vivi, but still counteracting it because this is just her local. Yeah, I mean... It all balances out, right? Uh, yeah. Home stage, home venue, home it's the same field. thing. Yeah, yeah, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Vivi won the last time AC played, and also... You're going to see some crazy stuff from the Sicario, some crazy juggles, some crazy counters even, which is really good. And also just like Rob, like I know we, we, we mentioned everyone in the world mentions Rob Rob's is big. big a lot. But in this matchup, it makes some of these horror sphere confirms yeah. way more consistent, as well as allowing you to do things like horror sphere charge into a second horror sphere charge yeah. that you can't hit on certain smaller It's also, charges. it's not just horror sphere combos. Uh, Lucario has some extra things like fair bear is easier on yep. Rob, as well as like your extra like early percent damage is like you get two to three more hits, which is a lot. I, I feel like every time I cast with another analyst, I learn so much about Lucario because it's either you who just knows a lot about Lucario by being from the city, or Ubel who plays Lucario. I played Ubel in bracket once. It was a fun set. But big dash attack here from Vivi, and only eighty percent, which is really good because this is the right range where. You still have enough aura to be doing a lot of damage on the low percent, but you're not like quite at the super death yeah. risk yet. But and Vivi has crazy mash, so down throw isn't really too much of a worry here. That being said, at 101, you are starting to enter that range, but not until you get a couple more hits first. So no, exactly. Oh, you still either get to lose one more interaction or get a little bit of extra credit. Now at 30, you are starting to enter that space. Dill just looking for, I, was that four F smashes in a row? It might have been. Perfect positioning on the up smash there to cover the entire platform. And now Vivi's gonna have to work a little hard. Let's see how they get the opening. A falling nair, but no dice. But a down tilt to dash attack, really good stuff. And the aura sphere racking on so much damage. Absolutely, Dill just opting to try and fast fall that nair. Vivi giving the space and trying to find the whiff punish, but Bob Nair having such little end lag that this is just not really an option. Now just contesting, right? Both players scrapping over center stage, opting to reset beneath the respective platforms. Just reset to neutral, say both of us want to land with falling aerials. Let's not let the other one do that. Just chill out, slow the pace of the game, get our resources back. And eventually it's going to be Vivi with that aerial momentum cancel on the down air, finding an opening. Yeah, Vivi just chilling out here, taking has a little bit of damage, but we're at the percents where we might find some kills off a straight aerial. That was the worst place for Vivi. That was the uh, Aura Sphere Dragon out of Force Palm, by the way. Yeah. Adding on to our point earlier about how Rob being big opens up uh, easier routes for cool things. Hits the gyro across the stage to prevent I, Dill from having it, which is really cool. Yeah, you don't want to just like throw it and get rid of it. Like maybe you want to throw it up, but then you risk them burner boosting up there. However, if they do, you maybe get the juggle. Who knows? So like there's a risk, but it's like an hitting them, hitting it away keeps it on stage. It's just the same as option. It so. was an option in the game that Vivi selected. Rotor arms to reflect the aura yeah, sphere. You, people, I feel like people still forget that that move has a reflector on it, even though like. I'm actually it's been just the surprised. case in every Smash game Rob has been in, the up to Smash hitbox. Yeah. I mean, man, I, I, I swear, in an alternate world with those arms, Rob like works at an ice cream parlor because that move sweeps <laughs> like nobody's business. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Parry the laser, counter, but no quite. And that's something that Vivi will do in the clutch, as we saw earlier. And Nair here, the down air interrupting. Okay. It's a little strange. Lucario has one of the better down airs in Smash. It's pretty I'm good. just going to say it, but people don't talk about it because it's all Lucario. No, it's pretty good. Lucario has this weird syndrome with his aerials where they're actually all pretty decent, but they're almost all like only good falling, with the exception of like forward air, which we obviously yeah. just saw and here. I think down air is actually pretty decent rising too because it completely stops. Yeah, the but in terms of like outside of like the like little advantage shape stall stuff you do, like down air is kind of an anomaly. Yeah. But like Lucario Nair is like a pretty good safe active button but you can't swing it while you're jumping yeah but there you saw it's unpunishable maybe yeah, no, maneuvering around especially here. with rage right and like these moves dealing more damage and more knockback also like as a result they get slightly safer on shield it's the same thing with incinero revenge stats no actually. exactly which means that Vivi can kind of swing these buttons with a little bit more impunity, dancing right outside of Rob's threat range, and you just can't get a grab for it. <gasps> Combined with that insane match, does Vivi still have Gyro? No, they don't. They lost it somewhere in there. The fully charged is Aura Sphere, not going to find its mark, getting the glancing globe, but going to deflect laser and turn, so no projectile is going to find their mark today. 
still has to go high, but that gives VB the opportunity to control the jungle just for the minute. The scrap to ledge though can be scary. However, VB's patience is gonna come oh. and clutch. I like the Aura Sphere confirm I, attempt, but the hurt box shift on the back. I end. don't even think that it was an attempt. VB, I think VB literally just wanted to move over Dill. No, I, I don't, I don't think so. Cause watch, cause you could have changed your momentum. If we can jump over to that but you replay. See, it, I think it was but, just the movement thing that just got caught out. I don't think it was a confirm it's a Uh I mean, maybe, but like, if you look, look at here. This. Oh yeah, you are drifting, but the way you're drifting here, you are drifting in, but you're drifting such where as if it wasn't a back air attempt that literally flattened you out, right? If you see this, if you didn't flatten out there horizontally, that R Sphere would have hit Dill and would have confirmed. Yeah. So it would have been the stock and the game for Vivi. E even though it was a reverse, because either Dill doesn't commit there, and you, in, in theory, right, and you'd go over, over, or, or she does stay up there, and you get the Aura Sphere charge. Well, However, that back there, I don't think, I just don't think Vivi quite accounted for the exactly, like, literally that, like, exact frame perfect timing of the back there, her box shifting you down like that. Who knows? We it, was, can... it wasn't even that it was horizontal, it was it was diagonal. It was perfectly diagonal to the Aura Sphere. Yeah, we can talk semantics all yeah. we want. But VB's already taken 100 damage, which, which means that he, they're in the lead. Yeah, which, which <laughs> it's Lucario. It's oh, not man. quite though. This oh, is raw. Yeah, right? but you you still do get like once you add 100 to zero so like this, you get those upper strings super true. Ooh, we saw three racking up 33 percent, which doesn't seem like a lot, but builds up fast with Lucario. Now at 122, though, you have to be scared if you lose this first stock fast. You do still gain rage from uh, or. You, or sorry, from a stock deficit, but not quite as much as you do from being at this high a percent. So you don't want to lose it just yet. You don't want to let your opponent get that significant lead on you. That being said, Vivi's movement-based defense with this character is off the charts. The way that at the short hop land and then immediately just dash and then stop and do nothing, like delay yeah, their it. right. They delay their fox shots. They're not constantly fox shot on other characters. They just kind of pause, go, yeah. pause, go, and it's beautiful. Well. VV rips the counter. Oh, there's oh, the reflector. No. The yep. Reflected. Oh. That's so much damage. Well, you're like, so dead. High right? percent, high percent or or sphere reflected. Yeah. Dill starting to throw these out a little more. And I wonder what the earliest, how much, what the most damage you can do if you get Kazia reflector to reflect an aura sphere with max max aura and max rage. Who and knows? the Kazia also has max rage. Anyways, questions for the lab. But getting back into the game right now, JDC, the I love that attempt to try and find the Tomahawk from VV, but Dill's patient's gonna find it. However, the double team's gonna come in clutch. Down tilt though, going to keep the pressure on for Dill. Both these players in a mad scramble, trying to crack this stock open. I love the crouch from VV, just trying to slow it down, but Dill's the one who pulls the trigger on the projectile first. And right now, JDC, both players just trying to find that hit to open it up. Yeah, and VV has this corner for such range, dashes in and gets crabbed, but the mash was crazy. We have some aura online. Both players have shown that they're willing to throw out some more committal options in the form of counter, rotor arm, Dill throws the gyro, VV doing their best to just stay in position, stay belligerent, don't let Dill have all the space that she wants. Moving around here, throws the Aura Sphere, the Nair into the corner, and now we have a let up the Aura Sphere to the back that, air. And oh! that's the double one we were talking about earlier. It's much easier on Rob, but unfortunately, VV missing the final confirm. Beautiful intercept there from Dill. Dill, not once, but twice that up special so hard to contest but dill doing so perfectly he just beautiful pressure yeah. off stage and this is now where things start to get out of hand and for vivi you only had 62 on dill so you still have a ways to go your character is going to be offline for a little bit you are down a stock so, but you still need to get to about 40 or 50 before your combos really come online in full before you really get that kill power back and that's not really a percent deficit you can afford to take right now yeah but Never count VV out. They Absolutely. find the craziest reads in these situations where you never see it coming. Moving around here, playing around the gyro really well. I can the Phantom for full double jump there from Dill just to yeah. kind of, of just get out of dodge, reset the situation, say if some reason you're jumping over me, I'm gonna catch you too. Ew, I love this this from Dill just fainting onto the platform, off the platform, basically forcing these aura spheres out from VV. Eh and forcing VV to expend these resources, which is not giving them the opportunity to control the pace of play, it allowing Dill to just keep resetting and just rack on the chip damage a little percent at a time. Dill is playing with that stock lead, saying, it's okay if I lose this, I just want to get as much chip damage as possible here. 
It's not even chip damage at this point. This is just real damage. Dill is oh, just... No. Okay, really, really beautiful jump read there from Vivi. And I think that's the perfect percent to find it, too, because now, as we said, like, you're at the 96 to 100% range. We are not quite in kill oh percent my God. yet. Now 59% on answered JDC. He and the advantage state continuing the corner pressure. Somehow, Dill just drifts just past the ledge of platform, gets back to center stage for a second, able to reset the situation to neutral, slow it down, find a reversal oh, of Gyro, no. and that grab, that might be it. The mash mix-up, a rare one from Vivi. Yeah, Vivi, as you mentioned earlier, known for that incredibly fast mash, but sometimes I'm when you know oh, your one's going to do it, doing it all the time, we're going to see it super fast here, but and it's going to the... be it. Wow. Great DI. Beautiful DI. And that and was on the double mix-up, too. Dill loves going for that double DI mix-up. This is so scary, because now the stray hits will kill, the back air will kill. The aura sphere, it poked? Oh, it, 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 I, I think it didn't, and... Or maybe it'll drop shield, it but didn't. Either. Yeah, it looked like they'll drop shield after the first one because Vivi canceled it, and in that time, Vivi be reversed into a second one to call it the shield yeah. drop. The dare the down, shoot, but the, the second hit didn't connect. Oh, that was so unfortunate. It was a slight drift back based combined with the positioning. Let's see where No Vivi way. It hit goes. the bounce. You, it hit insane. the bounce. That was insane. And honestly, oh. the way Vivi is hitting, hitting their head, it almost feels like... VV wasn't intending for it to bounce and instead was trying to do what they, it, what they did the last time they were put off stage, which was go high, arc around, and catch the back corner of Dill's yeah. shield. Because you, that that up special is actually safe on shield if you I know, space it right. I know. And it just was, you know, it's so hard to control that move. Right? That is the downside of Lucario's up special, especially when he has aura, is it is it has a hitbox and is one of the most long distance out specials in the entire game you can recover from almost anywhere this is true. but it's really dang hard to control it's not just really hard to control but it's also like we saw when, i mean obviously rob has rotor arms which mm -hmm. is the perfect option to interrupt it yeah super but active hitboxes it's still very like the hitbox of extreme speed itself isn't constant throughout the whole thing type of beat VV did a really good job of fighting back. I, I don't know though. Why why do other moves beat out extreme speed? It's supposed to have plus two priority. Um because Taker, right, come on. priority doesn't exist in this game.